The ABC has learned that the Deputy Premier overruled the advice of his own department and ordered a local council to rezone a caravan park in a move that allows the owners to potentially redevelop the site. A source inside the Sunshine Coast Regional Council has told the ABC that Jeff Seeney's intervention stunned members. Planning experts are comparing the move to the controversial decisions of the Bielke Peterson era. Mark Willisey has this exclusive report. Tucked between bushland and the Maroochee River, it's home to more than 200 people. <laughs> the park caters to over 50s residents like Vietnam veteran Stan Lonsdale. Love it, love it. Say any for everything. But behind the peaceful exterior, a battle has been raging. The Sunshine Coast Regional Council wanted the park kept as it is, but its owner, SEQ Properties, argued this took away its right to develop the site, demanding the park be zoned as medium density residential. The company lobbied the planning minister and deputy premier Jeff Seeney. But in documents obtained by the ABC, Mr Seeney's senior advisor told the company the minister would not get involved because zoning issues were the responsibility of council and the state's involvement was limited to matters of state interest. But then local MP Steve Dixon stepped in and within days the minister had done a U-turn. In a letter he ordered the council to include the site in its entirety in the medium density residential zone. There clearly should be better grounds for state intervention on, the, on behalf of a state interest than what we've seen in this case. The chief executive of SEQ Properties has told the ABC that the family-owned company is a supporter of the LNP and has paid to attend fundraising lunches. SEQ Properties is now free to develop townhouses and units on the site worth millions of dollars, although the company says there are no plans to do this. This reminds me of um, the days of ministerial rezonings in the 1980s under the um, Conservative government of that time. The Deputy Premier has told the ABC that he disagreed with his department's advice that this was not a state issue, saying he intervened because the council was potentially jeopardising the future of the park's 240 residents. All the parties in this dispute, the site's owners, the state government and the council, have used the interests of vulnerable elderly residents to make their case. But the ABC has spoken to more than a dozen of these residents and all say that at no stage have they been told of the machinations going on around them. We're sort of second-class citizens, I think, really. A lot of really, really old people in this place, and if they had to move, they just couldn't afford to. Planning experts say caravan park residents are an especially vulnerable group when it comes to planning changes at the whim of councils or state government. Mark Willisey, ABC News, Maroochydore.